I felt that the, the production here, the performance, opens up the uh, spectator's mind. It doesn't show him things uh, as an ended uh, picture, you know. Uh, it leaves a lot of uh, work for the uh, spectator's imagination. And uh, what I saw yesterday, at least when I sat among the audience, is that they were so attentive. People were very strongly concentrated on the on, on, on the stage. So drama, I think, as a genre, as a genre, uh, deals with the individual within uh, a bigger uh, framework of events of. Uh, events that have a very strong influence on, on one's private life. So uh, this is uh, what I think theater should do nowadays. It should really strip reality to the bone. Because I think we are living not only in the Middle East, but in the world at large. We are living at a time when um, if your humanity doesn't take uh, care of what is going on, uh, we will uh, lose uh, all control of our life and of what's uh, on the, uh, the possibility to continue to exist on this uh, planet. And this is what the play is all about. So it's about uh, the, the, the repercussions of history on the, the life and the destiny of the individual and vice versa. Israel is a product of history. And our life is uh, influenced very strongly by uh, our history, uh, by the uh, history of uh, ancient times as well as modern times. It is obvious that whatever we are doing will have uh, consequences. Well, in Israel, we thought there was an attitude uh, believing that we don't have to solve the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. We just have to uh, somehow manage it, and it will go on. What happened in Israel on the 7th of October, this catastrophe that took place is I, in my mind, a result of the attempt to ignore um, the responsibility that we have, we Israelis have, vis-a-vis -vis the conflict. Because it's like a, a, a disease. If you leave it, it doesn't go away. It becomes worse. Uh, after a while, it becomes uh, incurable at a certain point. And then it, it is uh, fatal. And I, and I think that this is one of them, so to speak, the, the, I don't want to use the word message of the play, but what the play is dealing with is the problem that we cannot uh, solve the, uh, or deal with the future without having an eye on the past. So I would say if you have your two eyes on the past, you don't do anything, you just, uh, it's escaping the future. So the right attitude probably in our situation, or maybe in every situation, is to have one eye on the past and one eye on the future. Wherever I go, then tomorrow is near, tomorrow is here, and always do. We have two communities that are infested with traumas. The Israelis on one side, the Palestinians on the other hand, it will take a lot of courage uh, from the younger generation, which is represented here by Libby uh, and Adib. These uh, two guys, they represent the generation that will have to bring the two traumatized societies into a kind of coexistence. And not only coexistence, but in a kind of... Uh, of uh, inner normal existence in the framework, as I believe, of a peaceful Middle East. And then the, it can be one of the most uh, attractive places on earth. I know what, what there is in the Arab culture, many values and um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of beauty also.
our younger generation, I know them well. I know I have uh, my grandchildren. I see them and I see how yeah. di how uh, talented, how diligent, how um, sharp they are. And I know that they are capable of, of uh, solving the problems that the older generation has uh, left them. And this is what I believe, and I, I think that in the play, if we take it, the play as a, as I said before, as a kind of an MRI of the situation, we see that Libby and Adib they are capable of coming to terms with the, the with the whatever problems uh, the the other generations created, and they they are capable of doing it. in the beginning of the 21st century, that people believed that history was over, so to speak. We, we are now, we got rid of history and we can live uh, our life without uh, being uh, uh, interfered by historical events. And this was an illusion, of course. And all of a sudden, history uh, comes back and uh, makes it uh, re appearance or it's a dramatic entrance into our lives and this is why Adib and uh, as a historian or a young historian uh, he brings up the history of Zionism uh, to learn from it as an as a Palestinian and he he tells uh, Libby look the Vidagot Mahong was a, a kind of a solution or beginning of a solution for you people to normalize your existence so this is, I think, what we are now dealing with in, uh, in real time. And this is what the play is trying also to say. Wissen Sie, wenn ich an den Konflikt denke, dann sehe ich immer zwei sich streitende Nachbarn, von denen jeder den anderen loswerden will und die sich aber auf dem gleichen Dach eines Hauses befinden, dessen unteren Stockwerke Feuer gefangen haben und das Feuer klettert von Stockwerk zu Stockwerk jeden Tag ein Stück höher. Sie halten beide ein Seil in der Hand, das bis zur halben Haushöhe reicht. Jetzt haben Sie die Wahl. Entweder die beiden Seile miteinander verknüpfen und sich nacheinander vom Dach des brennenden Hauses herunterzulassen oder den Teil des Seils, der jedem fehlt, mit Gewalt an sich zu reißen und zu versuchen, den anderen umzubringen. I, I continue to work with the drama students. Uh, I'm trying to not to lose contact with the younger generation of uh, upcoming, uh, up and coming new actors, young actors, young directors. So, and I think that theater is alive so long as uh, there are at least three generations involved in the creation of uh, of the contemporary theater. The, the, there is a lot to learn from the past. There is a lot. To learn from uh, the, the present. So I think that theater, as I say, again, as I said before, should remember that it is a, a that it is a, a, a forum that can confront community and not individuals sitting at their uh, living rooms and looking at the television. Uh, screen it's a different kind of uh, experience when people are, become an audience and then they realize that they have something in common that the the things that are being uh, that they are confronted with concern all of them and not only me with my private life but me my private life and my belonging to a wider range of uh, a community this is what I believe, and uh, this is what I'm trying to share with uh, the audience. 